What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies, and tonight I am joined with the other three dummies. I have Mrs. Skullface. Hello. Mr. Just One. Yo, what's happening? And Mr. Robert Detoff. Is this coming out before Christmas? It's possible. Well, then hello, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Actually, it probably won't, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that being said, Ow. tonight we are going to do another collection critique. You know the routine, leave your feelings at the door. They have no place here. If you want the uncut version of this, please subscribe to Patreon at the $5 level where you can get this as well as all the reviews of Legends figures as well as non-Transformer figures. There's a ton of stuff there. And that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with our first entry, which is from Melvin. And Melvin, I have to say this before I even take a real look at the pictures. He sent a modest three photos. Like, hey, this is what I got. Have a look. He's got a modest collection, Bobby. He has a modest collection. I like the, I it's, like the white and gray cabinet. I do too. I, I was going to say the same. I think he gets a couple risers in there. You know, lift those Dinobots up up, get them up, take advantage of that vertical space. Maybe put a light strip at the top of that shelf because it doesn't look like it yeah, has that one. that one looks dark. Yeah. Um, oh, come on. He looks like this thing. He looks like he's his displacer in an urgent care office or something. <laughs> No, I, maybe I, disagree. They are. I disagree. I know I what you mean. Maybe, maybe they are. It's possible. I know what you mean. Like, it looks sterile. Very sterile. And I get and, that. But yet not. But yet not at the same time. The exact, just like an urgent care facility. Like, you don't want to touch anything. But it looks sterile. But it, it smells like alcohol. But I think if they lit that top shelf and then got every character that he has on all three rows in the back row lifted up, he's good to go. Yeah, I agree. And don't. I don't think you need to lift anywhere else but that top shelf. 100%. Real quick, if you look at, like, the Dinobot shelf, right? You lift the Dinobots up on risers, take advantage of the vertical space, then you have the car bots, put a couple mini bots in front, you have plenty yep. of space, light the, the shelf, you're good to go. I don't know if we need to yeah. add any mini bots in front. There's some little ones already down there. So those mini bots he needs to get rid of. Like all those little characters, he has like the little spike, the little headmasters and all that. Get those out of there. Put those in a box somewhere. You don't need them. But put like your Cosmos and your Beachcomber, your Cliff Jumper, your Bumblebee, put the little figures that take up more space that have more impact, but don't hide the figures behind them. That's where they should go. I think it's best his best shelf is his Combaticons because so, it's really crowded. Well, let's move on to that case. He's so, trying. Yeah, I was say, He's trying. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you could mix and match. Like, I think some of these figures that you have in this brown case would look better in the other one and then vice versa. You know what I mean? Like, you have these smaller figures in this brown case because the case space is naturally smaller, but I think you need to put some of the bigger ones in there and fill mm, it up. That's interesting. Are you speaking specifically about the ones like with the trailer? Like that shelf? Yeah, yeah. Like, so, yeah. Like, I think, like, I don't think the Stunicon shelf kind of works just because of the because of the trailers in there and I see what you're trying to do so you're better off taking you're better off taking your Dinobots and putting them in there they fill out that space better yeah if, using trailers yeah. as risers is a noob move yeah this uh, is called and, the noob and, move and, and to, be, to be fair I did it also when I was new to it mm -hmm. also keeping your like garbage Hasbro figures with your good figures is another noob move Where and I get it because the, the trailer is cool and you're like you want to integrate it too but yeah it just doesn't it doesn't look great with them standing on it because you know that it's the trailer see with that with the glass case separated vertically by the split for the door consider maybe the sizing seems to work on one on one shelf say on the left have megatron on the right have galvatron and that's it but i'll also you know? say like in both of them where the the glass doors split the center they're not as distracting as as we've seen with other examples in the past it's because there seems not like a lot of times when you see it split it's like it has a frame around it yes this is just the glass coming up against it so you, yeah, yeah. This is pretty, like, it's pretty seamless. It, obviously, it's still there, but it's not distracting. Yeah. No, but it could be utilized. The shapes formed by the seams and the shelves, you could you could use them for framing. They could, but the seams here are so kind of, like, vague that it's like, I don't think he's wrong here. Mm. Right. Uh, I think I think if you split it, Robert, you're drawing attention to the seam where this way it's like... You I agree. Kind of I agree. If you look at the whole space with, like, the, the Titans on top, I don't, like, I think... This is a matter of rearranging the figures and buying some risers. I, I think that's it. He went to the right. trouble of illuminating Metroplex's eyeballs for you, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I think those clamshells that you have on the side you need to get rid of. It just looks sloppy. Where are they? They're on the side of the mm. to the right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. he's got to see them. Those are my clamshells. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you put the clamshells there without the boxes? 
Like, I, and I not, the not, boxes not, for art on my wall. Not, not, that, not that I say you should have the boxes there either, but why? wherever the boxes are, why wouldn't you have these in them no. if you're keeping he's, them? He's got the boxes. Maybe, maybe he's got KOs and they just came in clamshells. <laughs> he's got the boxes flattened and framed or just taped to the wall with the intention of keeping the clamshells so that if he ever needs to resell something, he can take, remove the art from the wall and yeah. turn it back into a box. I'd stop lying to yourself, but like, I think you have. <laughs> I think you have some decent furniture. I think you have a decent layout. I think you need a couple risers, a couple more lights. Like you're on, you're on the right track. If I was to add, if I was to add one thing, and it's not a small thing, but I've seen it work in my own home. This case that you have to the right with the Combaticons and everything in it, I would consider completely taking it apart and painting the frame white. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. I was going to say also too, when you move those clamshells, take that case and push it all the way to the wall. I, it's you're better off having the space between the two than having these two butt up right next to each other that's fair oh his boxes are in the cabinet let's move probably yeah maybe let's move on to the next one this is from (laughs) i like his name not spelled the most traditionally but it's waffle house 91 but very very clean very sharp Mm. nice floors i like the yoda mug or the yoda brain mug whatever that is the yoda candy bowl i'm gonna i'm gonna gonna hit you guys with a controversial uh opinion here please do go ahead please do so i I think this is one of these cases one of these instances where all the large city bots need to be on the shelves on the bottom and not on the top. I feel like it's too crowded with the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. If it's you, fine putting stuff up there, but if you just made the space at the bottom and then <sighs> even just put your books on the top up there may work. But yeah, if you look at the clamshells, if you look at the whole <laughs> space, this is the whole space is what tells the story. Right. It's too big busy with it's not overcrowded the the spacing of the figures is fair but it's too busy like you got some shelves with at the base with like pops in them that doesn't work some shelves have books some don't some have big giant grogu figures some don't like you have to decide what you want the whole space to look like i think it's just the flow it's a flow thing it's right a flow you gotta look thing. at the way that it flows and it just isn't flowing right you know i think like you obviously you have this desk over here it's like your work area and i think that's cool right like your desk area is straight and you have the toy area behind but i would perhaps decorate the desk area with the stuff like the books maybe or the figures in boxes or the pops the stuff that doesn't fit the general motif and then just keep your transformers over here you got some issues because you got it you have a uh, rectangular room right. and you've got a lot of stuff against one wall so for me the room looks nice the wall color is good the floor you know it's like yeah, all that's it's great a, it's a newer room you just have to figure out i think you just need to move around all your furniture and just get a different flow in there but. i don't know if he needs to move the furniture i actually think the layout is oh i think the whole room is okay it's just the stuff where it's at it may it could just be that i just know that that the corner when you're looking at this whole photo and you look at that wall of bookcases with the figures just yeah but that's because uh, of the figures not because of the bookcases right. and, and you may be right you may be right you take all it may just need and, some and, lighting it may need a rug it may need something just to bring that space Ooh, it may not a rug even is be a that. good actually a rug you know is a I mean? good idea a rug just, is a good idea and laura's taught me to this bring that, like, that some, space up and and put some color in there you got all this color yeah. on that wall right like the oranges and greens and reds from the transformers if you were to it throw works, if you were to throw Throw a color down on the floor that tied in some of those primary colors. Maybe that would help bring the whole room together. Or even if you just curtains, you got rid of the thing. Like that's the stuff that like I keep talking about now is like so much. Not really so much about the shelves and what's on it now. Now it's just about the whole space that you're living in. Hmm. The hot take for this is that everybody agrees that the room layout is pretty. I mean, just has some suggestions as to where to put which furniture. But the furniture is nice. The floors are nice. The wall color is nice. Everything about this room is nice. It's just how you have this sh- on your shelves that's not nice and it's fixable and this stuff on and your it, shelves is not nice no it's fine it's fine and it's not even every shelf it's just some of them it yes just, like you just got to go through and look at it and i, I don't know so what we're saying is the room is nice the shelves <clears throat> are nice the layout's nice but the stuff on your shelves is not nice yeah <laughs> Yeah. Um I think the like the three <laughs> large ones in the center are okay. I think it's the two and the and the triptychon on the other side. Like I think those are they feel So like when you say three large ones in the center, you're not talking about the shelves, you're talking about the bots on top of the I'm shelves. I'm talking about the bots on top of the shelves. <clears throat> you can't really tell. Yeah, I guess you're like right. They, ha- they have more room theme. to stand there. Yeah. 
So I think those three are fine, but if there's some way we can move the two on the ends, like remove, I think, remove a shell from the bottom, or, or yeah, I agree. Or, the or, ones or, in the or, middle. I agree. You know, the stuff, like, the stuff on the end bookcases should be at the bottom of those bookcases to ground it. Yeah, and nope. then and Laura? then we can bring something smaller up that's Laura? not too small, but mm-hmm. like what, Laura, Robert? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Probably not. <laughs> So look, ah. fishing fishing line. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hear go. me out. Big bots fishing line. Oh, people need to realize too, just structurally and visually, the triangle is the strongest shape. So it, by you're almost creating a triangle if you put those big bots that are on the top of those two tall shelves on the bottom, and there'll be a triangle with those three that you have in the middle, and it mm-hmm. just looks visually strong. Mm. So that's why we, you know. Huh. Let's move on to the next one. This is the at the great brain robbery. Oh boy. Yeah, it's oh, not. It's not. Right. It's not bad. It's just. It's busy. Ooh. Oh, I don't mind this. Look at that. Got robotic stuff going on there, Jim. Uh, it starts strong and then just gets progressively worse. It does You're get, right. The more on. you look at it, the worse it is. It does. But you know what, what's interesting? This is the first Flash display that we've ever seen. Like, this dude yeah. loves the Flash. I'm going to send this to Kingston. <clears throat> Kingston loves the Flash, dude. Oh, and I do want to point out, this, this statue with the Flash running on the concrete slab that's, like, tilted, I've had my eye on that bad boy for some time. Like, Yeah, that's cool. That's a great statue statue i think that whole shelf looks great with the exception of the voltron and all the other stuff on the top after that yes the flash stuff but see that's the thing it's always obvious with folks as to what they actually really love and this dude loves the flash and it shows like this i don't want to skip ahead too much but i have to if you look at the last picture all the way to the right this dude has what seems to be a at least a replica of the flash suit worn in the tv show right right and maybe the original tv show too that's what i'm talking about yeah and that's the overall theme to this whole display he's run out of room so we got helmets and shit sitting in the front with sneakers and, and flash dogs and everything else. Like He's run out of room and he's trying to figure out where to put it, but but the truth is it's time to start making sacrifices to start making your display more meaningful. The ships of that's not working. The le- oh, yeah, the, the, Star Lego, Wars, the Lego Star Wars ships are not working. Get them out of there. They're not working. Uh, They're not working. Honestly, there. I would get rid of your Transformers too and just lean into your flash stuff. Like the fl- it's, <clears throat> it's good stuff. It looks good. Yeah. And I think you've done such a good job at this first shelf that when you get to that shelf of flash stuff next to the costume it doesn't look as cared for because it's like all right you don't have any room so you're jamming it in there you're jamming it in transformers if you look at the bottom row of books that he has that are flash books where the dog and the helmets are he has books sitting up on top sideways because he's just run out of room Mm books you know and 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 the thing is is like look either let this shine or get it out of there yeah 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 Go with the flash. You're right. You're at that point where like you're just you're collecting everything. You feel like everything that you have has to be on display. And now we're telling you're at that point that not everything that you have needs to be shown. You have the most impressive flash display that we've ever seen. Yeah. That's and a like, fact. And like Grogu and the gauntlet on the floor. Yeah, get it out of there. Get Grogu out of there. I want to get my Grogu out of here. Like your 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 hot toy stuff. Get it out of there. It, it doesn't look great. Like no, <clears> I'm not I'm not I'm not mad at I don't at, think it looks bad though. I'm not I mad at the show shelving that you use for it i'm not mad at the shelving i think the shelving actually works but like the spacing if you look at the mandalorians right like he's got the mandalorian the heavy mandalorian and the boba fett but what's all that behind it it makes it look extra busy and it distracts you from what's actually going on in the shelves if you look at other shelves like like the gold and copper troopers there's just a whole other thing but even though i think those pieces aren't good looking they're clean yeah, but those shelves are basically gussied up utility shelves. Agreed, but I don't think they look yeah. terrible. It's like buying an extremely expensive box of wine. <laughs> which which can serve its purpose. I think that there's room for greatness here. Mm-hmm. You just have to you have to thin the herd, man. I think he should show a lot more love to his flash stuff. Way more love. He doesn't need any of these hot toys displays or figures and spread out. Improve your flash display cases, you know? Shine those things. I think the problem really is the Transformers and the Lego ships. The Lego ships. I think like if we... They need to go. Either, yeah, the Lego ships <clears throat> can come out. Step one, get the a, Lego them, ships out of there. Hang them from your Get them out of there. Or don't. Hang them from your ceiling. Or don't. <laughs> and then the Transformers either need to be spread out on those two shelves. I think if you spread those Transformers 
cameras out between two shelves, yeah. that'll be fine. I like this old wooden floor that you got. I would lean into the rustic nature of this whole space too. But mm, like that's, fair. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I think there's just a lot of things that you can't. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you can do if once you let go. Uh, I don't know what's some go. Star Wars quote somewhere, but I'm sure there's something about letting go. But let go, man. Take everything <laughs> out of here and then just only put in the stuff that you truly love. Start there and see how that feels, and then start adding in whatever's after that. And then yeah. anything that you get when you run out of space, anything that's left is the stuff you don't care about. That's the stuff sell you it. can box up and put away. Or like sell we've it, got like just. three shelves on the left side. Why not take all the flash stuff that's kind of cramped on two mm-hmm. shelves yeah. and bring that over because you do right. seem to love that. Yeah. I don't think the hot toys are terrible. I think they need to I agree. Re- I think they need to be reworked. Yes. But I don't I think that they can work. Let's, um, and let, then that last the on the flash side, maybe you can spread out the transformers. Let's move on to the last one. This is from Alex. I got news for you. He has some really impressive stuff and then he has some stuff that I'm like, why did you send this, Alex? I want to draw your attention to the Dinobot shelf where he has a... There's no like overall picture, right? It doesn't look like it. He has a printout of the Ark crashing into the mountain with five Dinobots standing in front of it. The Dinobots aren't posed great, but the shelf, I think, works overall. Grimlock's giving himself a hot foot. Yep. (laughs) But like when you move on to the the shelf after that, which has a Devastator and a Jet Fire, I think, with some blast effects and then a Goku and a Terminator and now... Megazord. Yeah, you threw it all away. Like, what is this? These are just things that you have and you're trying to make them make sense, but I can't make sense of it. Then you took a picture of the Omega Supreme in box on a table. Are you (laughs) trying are you trying to show me that you have it? Because I don't care. (laughs) Hit that flexing button. (laughs) Yeah, I'll I'll, 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 I'll give you one. But I don't care, and neither does anybody else. But what people do care about, regardless of whether or not you're into this stuff or not, is how a space looks. Yeah, it's just, and even they're weird, like, I don't know if they're just bestas, but even just the shelving is weird. Are they in the wall, or they're popping out of the no, wall? No, they're, they're popping, popping out. out. So I think it's like a best a besta. Oh, boy, worsta. But yeah, was the, but you picked the worsta besta. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. Mm. Oh, no. It, that's the wrong lighting. Even when you have this photo of, like, the Dinobots and this Megatron, it's the wrong lighting because the light's so bright that it puts everything in a shadow. You can't even, or it's like too far in the back. The dark abouts, you mean? Yeah, it's just, uh, uh-huh. I think, like, if you look at the picture with the TV, with the two framed out spaces, like, and we've seen the Dinobots, obviously we've looked at a couple of these close up, but like, that's a cool idea, but the execution lacks purpose. What was the idea? Of like, look, this is where I sit to watch TV, and then I had these, like, kind of, it looks like, I guess, bump out things hung on the wall that hold things and they're lit we know they're lit because we've seen the dinobots lit like i think that's a cool idea but it's just like looking at them as he theoretically looks at them it looks meaningless i feel like it's an odd positioning for the more square one like it either needs to split that width or i mean we have it's really hard to see because we can't we can't really see anything other than these individual shelves so it's really hard to get an idea of what how it's all relating to. Well, the, 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 well, the best bet you get is from that one picture. Like, that's the space. That's His wall space. space. He's wasting wall space with that ginormous 32-inch television. That's the problem. I, I think, as much as I don't like doing this, the fact that these things stick out of the wall, like, take the Terminator out of there and just put it on top of one of the shelves. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't even need to <laughs> be behind like the glass. It is like a like, super easy, common-sense fix to it. Is that a bust? Or is it just a... No, because it's hunched for- over. He's, like, all, like... It's it's just a weird so pose. This, I feel like the square one needs to be shifted up so it's splitting the difference. Does that make sense? Like it looks yeah. weird how it's sitting low. Unless you put something else on top. Yeah. I don't think you can put something else. I think you can either move it up. I think you can put something the, on top. I think you can move it up next to the other one. If you no. if you put something on top, you need to move it down to be level. No. Up. If you put something else oh, on you top, mean, like put actually, that was that was the same size as that one like where your wait, eye like, formed the L. Are you he talking about? M. Standing figures yes. on top of it? Yeah. The problem with this picture is the clear space above the square. Mm hmm. If you put something there that filled out that space, problem solved. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's it's ah, I, I hate to be mean. It's bad shelving. It's bad lighting. It's bad, bad figures. figures. <laughs> yeah, like it's just a trifecta of bad. <laughs> a, a trifecta though is good. <laughs> I, I, I hate to say it, Alex, you did it wrong. Yeah, I you, think you, you did it wrong. I do think if we either shift that, <clears throat> or like you said, like a easier a easier fix would be to take some things and put them on top to help. 
even that out. But at the moment, things are kind of awkwardly situated I, in I would in, rather, in relationship yeah. to <clears throat> yeah. Agree. I would rather see this <laughs> detolves honestly. Having one detolf next to the TV on the right may may be the way to go. Just get rid of both of these things. Um, a triangle creosote. <laughs> I want a barbecue on fire. I want to see a, a digital thermometer in a smoked meat. Oh, yeah. I want to see the bulge on that flash costume. That thing was intense. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>